Hello, in this example, we are going to multiply two mixed numbers. There are several ways to do this, and I'm just going to show you one way. So the first thing we're going to do in this example is we're going to convert these mixed numbers into numbers that are not mixed numbers. We're going to turn them into what's called improper fractions. So to do that, we basically take this number, this 8, and we multiply it by the 3. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 7 is 31. So this is 31 over 8. Again, 8 times 3 is 24. Then you add 7 to that, that's going to give you 31. Times, do the same thing here. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. So this is 11 over 2. Okay, so again, 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 7 is 31, so you get that. And then 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11, so you get that. At this point, we might try to reduce. You're allowed to cancel any number, you're allowed to uh, cancel factors of 31 with factors of 8, and you're allowed to cancel factors of 11 with factors of 2, and you're allowed to cancel these with these and these with these. Basically, you're allowed to cancel anything on top with anything on the bottom. So like this with this, this with this, this with this, or this with this. But nothing here has a common factor. So now we just have to multiply straight across. So this is gonna get kind of messy, so I'm going to cheat and use a calculator. So 31 times 11. I'll do it with my calculator first, and then I'll show you how to do it by hand. So this is 341, and then 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, so how do you do this by hand? Let me show you. So let's do it over here. 31 times 11. So to do it by hand, you do 1 times 1, that's 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Then you add 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, 3. And again, you can use the calculator, so I did that pretty quickly. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. Then you add, there's nothing here, so you just put a 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, bring down to 3, 341. Pretty useful. You can also write this as a mixed number, if you like. To figure out how to write it as a mixed number, you have to ask yourself, how many times 16 goes into 341? You could certainly leave your answer like this, though. So to figure that out, you have to figure out how many times that happens. Well, we can think about it like this. We know 16 times 10 is 160. So 16 times 20, that's going to be 320. Hmm, we're not quite at 341 yet, right? So 16 times 21, well, if we add, if we add another 16 to this, right, that's going to put us at 336. So that means that 16 goes into 341 um, 21 times, and we, and we have 5 left over, okay, because uh, 16 times 21 is 336, we're almost at 341, how much more do we need to get there? We need 5 more. You can check your answer by multiplying these. 16 times 21 is 336, plus 5 is 341. So both of these are exactly the same thing. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.